Florence was a happy little girl. She was born in 1820. She lived in England. Her father was rich and her mother was very kind. Florence's mother helped poor people. She visited the sick. She visited sick people in hospitals and their homes. Sometimes Florence went with her mother. The hospitals were dirty. The food was not good. Most patients in hospitals died. They made Florence very angry. Florence's parents wanted to her to become a socialite. However, Florence had other plans. She wanted to help sick people. She wanted to be a nurse. Her parents said that the hospitals were dirty. Everyone was sick in hospitals. Some people were terribly sick. Sometimes nurses got very sick and died. Her parents did many things to change Florence's mind. Still, Florence wanted to be a nurse. Still, she wanted to help sick people. Finally, she went to school in Germany. There, she studied about taking care of sick people. Florence studied and studied. She studied books about medicines and illnesses. She she studied books about taking care of sick people. She was an excellent student. Then a war started. It was the Crimean War of. 1853 to 1856, British soldiers approached terribly. There were no good hospitals. There were no nurses. No one took care of sick or injured soldiers. The Minister of War in young England took Florence. He knew she wanted to help sick people. He knew she had studied long and hard. The Minister asked Florence to go to the Crimea. He asked her to take, care, take nurses to the Crimea. He asked her to take care of the sick and injured students there. Florence and the nurses went to the Crimea. They cleaned the hospitals. They prepared good food. They washed seats and blankets. They nursed the soldiers. Queen Victoria sent a letter to Florence. The Queen thanked Florence for her hard work. She thanked her the nurses. Florence worried about the soldiers she carried about them. Sometimes she got up during the night. She carried a lamp and walked through the hospital. She checked the sick soldiers. Some soldiers called her the lady with the lamp. Some soldiers called her the angel of mercy. The soldier rubbed their lady with the lamp. Florence Nightingale was the lady with the lamp. Excellent! Fantastic job!